Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you as is usual. For this one we're going to continue on with a series of Scottish beer reviews that I've been doing for you and for this one we will take a trip up to the Orkney Islands. This is the first of two trips we'll take up there actually. So we're going to ta taste a beer from the Swanee Brewery or Highland Brewing Company as they're known officially and this will be the Orkney Porter which is their winter seasonal beer. Meant to be a very very nice one this. My parents brought me this back from a trip up there a few months ago so quite cool that I managed to get this one for you because it's I think it only comes out every so often you know it's quite difficult to get this on the mainland especially all of the for some reason their beers are very difficult to get outside of, uh, of Orkney as far as I'm aware but as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll take you through a very brief history of the brewery if you are simply interested in the tasting of the beer then feel free to fast forward a few minutes into the video and you will get straight there the brewery websites in the video description for you below along with a link to my other Swanee beer reviews. So anyway, just to tell you a little bit about Orkney actually, this is the first set of islands you'll come to when you go off the north coast of Scotland. Very, very beautiful part of the country apparently, but there's a lot of uh, kind of very kind of well preserved archaeological sites up there. Scarabray, if you do find yourself in Scotland, is definitely worth a visit. That's about 5,500 years old and it wouldn't actually have been revealed unless there'd been a violent storm and that happened back in 1850. It just ripped up the ground and they discovered all of these really well preserved ancient houses and things so very very cool but there's a lot of Nordic uh, Viking heritage up there as well. A lot of the place names have a lot of kind of Nordic Norwegian names and things so they're very very proud of that, the Orcadians and the Shetlanders and it's a very very beautiful part of the country those of you who watch my reviews from, from uh, Australia, New Zealand, America Canada, you really need to go and visit that part of the country if you do get the chance so, to tell you a little bit about this brewery itself, Highland Brewing Company was founded by Rob Hill, who's a vastly experienced brewer, formerly of the Orkney Brewery, who are the second brewery on the island. But the first brews were produced in January 2006 in an old farmsteading in Swanee on Orkney. I believe that's way up in the north of the islands, but correct me on that if I'm wrong. But today they have two brew plants that they use as required, or however often time will allow. And this includes their original five barrel plant, which they call the small kit, and their 20 barrel plant, which they refer to as the big kit but both of their plants are second hand and they, they wanted to they, they were kind of kept for environmental reasons if you like apparently they're very efficient plants for brewing but the company brew at least four times per week and their fermenta their fermenting space allows them to do up to six brews per week if they implement both brewing kits but the brewery are always keen for volunteers and apparently you can just turn up at the brewery and take part in the brewing process you can dig out the mash tun or the kettles and just turn up with it you just need to turn up to the brewery in your wellies pretty much and again they're a very very decorated brewery they've won numerous awards from different organizations for their beer and the, the other beer that I've reviewed from you on this channel was, is very very good so hopefully the Orkney Porter kind of follows in the same light just to list a few of the other uh, beers for you there, there's the Scapa Flow, the St Magnus, the Orkney Porter, the Orkney Blast, the Orkney IPA and the Dark Munro as well and you can check out a little bit more about those in the, in the website down there as well. But let's get on to the tasting of this beer itself, as you can probably guess it's a porter style beer but it's 9% ABV, I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little quick look at the artwork on this one, there's a little kind of ding on the uh, on the label there so excuse me for that I'm not sure exactly why how that ended up there but shit happens you know but you can see there's Rob Hill's signature just just beside the ding there but it's quite nicely presented this one you can see the kind of Orkney Islands on the top of the the sort of top label up there and it's just a plain black bottle cap on this one but it's a very very attractive looking uh, bottle this one I think I really like the artwork they've put on this one and their other artwork on other beers is very very impressive as well so let's get this guy out and get on with the tasting then so this is a 9% porter beer as I explained to you from the Shetland or the Orkney Islands, sorry, just the first set of islands that you come to off the north coast of Scotland. See if we can just get this guy out. There you are. So it's poured a really, really nice kind of rosewood mahogany colour. That's probably a very good way to describe it. Deep mahogany, maybe rosewood, ebony wood. If I hold it up to the light, I can see a little bit of a ruby tinge to it. I'll just bring up the light and let you see the exact colour of this beer. There's a nice kind of solid three-quarter finger of a kind of tanny, beigey head on this one. If I have a look, there's just a little bit of carbonation going up towards the bottom of the head. A lot of small bubbles actually, but not much in the way of big bubbles, but a very attractive looking beer nonetheless. So let's give it a smell here. 
It's a very sweet kind of chocolatey aroma that's coming out of this one. There is the typical element of like roasted coffee and things that you expect from this beer. Or from this style rather. But it's got a big sweet berry element to it. You can pick up a lot of the dried fruits, you know, the roasty, the, the kind of figs, raisins, plums, that sort of thing. You can pick up that in it. But it's very, very sweet. Maybe a little bit of kind of cherry or something like that as well. But there's a lot of kind of sweet chocolate in there. But there is a kind of underlying of the, the bitter roasted coffee thing that you expect from this style. But it's actually quite a sweet aroma on this one, I would say that. There's a little bit of caramel in there too, but it's mainly chocolate and the kind of berry fruits that are coming out on this one. There's a kind of almost a dusty kind of coffee smell to this one. It's quite interesting. Really beautiful aroma though. I have to say, if you do try this beer for yourself, definitely just take a little bit of time and smell the aroma and take in the aroma of this one. It's beautiful. Probably one of the most attractive smelling porters that I've come across actually. So a very, very nice beer, but let's give it a taste and see how we get on. So this is the Orkney Porter from the Swanee Brewery on Auckland, on the uh, the Orkney Islands. I keep mispronouncing that, but here we go. Cheers. Yeah, the chocolatey element to this beer is very, very sweet. It's really, really nice, actually. Never quite tasted a porter like that. Yeah, it's got a really kind of, it's very unique actually, I've never tasted, as I say, I've never tasted a porter that quite has that element to it, it's got a really sweet chocolatey kind of mouthfeel to it, or chocolatey flavour, and it just comes in right at the front of the tongue there, it's, it's really really nice, it's a nice big blend of flavours, and you just get a little bit of alcohol warmth from it down here as well, it's really really nice, but that's what you'd expect at 9% ABV, it's a bit of a beast actually. There's a little bit of a kind of rye bread character to this one as well, which is quite interesting. I really like Eastern European rye bread, and it does have just a tiny little bit of that kind of taste in it. It's beautiful, beautiful beer. But yeah, it's interesting because it has a really nice kind of sweet kind of milk chocolate character, and the coffee just blends with it very, very well. There's not a lot of roasted and bitter character to this one, which is quite interesting. It's more of a sweet kind of chocolate sauce porter, if that makes sense. It's got a really sweet nature to the flavour of this one, which is it's beautiful. It really is. Yeah, the caramel, the, the caramel just blends in with that nice sweet chocolate character, actually. But as I'm saying to you... The real kind of surprise with this beer is that it doesn't have a big roasted coffee element to it. You can pick it up in the aroma just a little bit and it's kind of an underlying feature but it's not really that present until you get into the aftertaste. There's just a teeny tiny bit of a kind of dry roasted bitter coffee character on either side of the tongue just at the back corner. It's a really really beautiful beer. Yeah. It's a really, the chocolate as I say, blends really nicely with that kind of coffee malt there. There's some nice caramel as well, but it's a really, it's a beautiful beer. I mean, there's nothing else I, I can really say about it. It's, it's outstanding. This is maybe one of the best porters that I've reviewed on the channel, in fact, and that's out of about 350 videos that I've done for you now. But it's beautiful. I mean, if you ever get the chance to try this one, I'd highly recommend it. At the end of the flavour you're just getting a little bit of a kind of oily character that helps bring out some kind of nice berry kind of candied fruits if you like, almost like kind of candied strawberry if that makes sense. In the aroma you pick up like a kind of plummy or figgy character but that's not really present, it's more a slightly kind of candied fruit. It's not very juicy I should say that as well. This beer in terms of the main component of the flavour is that nice kind of milk chocolate character. A little bit of caramel in there that kind of backs it up and thickens it out a bit but the coffee, that, that kind of blend between the sort of coffee, roasted coffee, malt, very very light I should point out, a really nice kind of milk chocolate 
flavour with just a nice little blend of roasted coffee in there. It's beautifully done, this beer. I, I really like it. I mean, porters are always tasting beers. You know, you just want to sip one and enjoy the flavour of it. And this is definitely one for that, but it's one of the nicest porters I've reviewed, and I'll stick by that. So, in terms of the mouthfeel, I'd say it's quite light bodied, maybe pushing the mid bodied barrier actually. But it's got moderate carbonation. It's actually got quite an oily, kind of syrupy mouthfeel to it, which is quite nice. And it's got just a nice little bit of bitter character that kind of blends, sort of uh, grows in the as you move into the aftertaste. It's very, very nice and it's just slightly dry, but overall it's a big kind of syrupy, nice wet mouthfeel to this one. So as I say, it's a beer that you really need to check out if you get the chance. It's a winter seasonal, so keep an eye out for it around Christmas time. This is an ideal one for, you know, having with Christmas pudding, actually, now that I think about it. So maybe I'll see when I come back to Scotland from Australia, if I can get one of these and enjoy it at Christmas with some kind of after eight mints or something like that it would go really really well with that but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this beer review it's been really cool to kind of revisit the swanee brewery in the orkney islands or highland brewing company as they're referred to officially this is another beautiful beer from these guys and uh, they're de it's a brewery that's definitely worth checking out you know take a look at their website see if they do a beer that's the kind of style that you like a lot of people like completely different styles so just take a look and see what you can get from these guys they're a very very good brewery as are the Orkney brewery on the Orkney Islands so check out both of them go and visit the Orkney Islands very very beautiful place but um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review please let me know in the comments section your own thoughts on this beer if you have tried it yourself always interesting to get some input onto the channel in that sense but um, I thank you again for watching my beer reviews I hope you're enjoying this Scottish series and I will be back with the next in my series of Scottish beer reviews Cheers.